We're looking at commutative property in this video. Here's the definition and terms you need to know. Um, looking at the examples, really you've done commutative property for years now and you probably didn't even realize it. Looking at the example in the lower left hand corner, you can see all we do is switch the numbers. That's all commutative property is. It works for both addition and multiplication. So let's look at why subtraction doesn't work for commutative property. And it's very simple, actually. Once you flip the numbers, they don't equal the difference anymore. The actual correct answer would be something completely different than what it was before. The same is true for division. So let's look at our algebra lab here and how this relates to that. So looking at the um, expression on the left hand side, 3x plus 6, if we um, use commutative property, it becomes 6 plus 3x. But ultimately, it doesn't do anything within the box that it's placed with in initially. It's still in the same location. So that's why commutative property works for addition. If we look on the right hand side, that is for multiplication. So we went from 15 times 2x to 2x times 15. And again, doesn't really change anything um, enough to make a big difference. Now, we can get, if we rewrite our subtractions to be an addition with a negative, these functions will work um, by getting around the um, technicality, so to speak. So 3x minus 6. If we switch it, obviously it's going to switch the um, expression altogether. However, if we rewrote that, or rewrite that expression, 3x plus negative 6, then we don't need to change the position of our algebra lab gear at all. So essentially it's the same um, problem. Let's look at another example. 15 minus 2x, if I switch the position, it's going to change the expression altogether. However, the one on the right, 15 plus negative 2x, essentially the same thing, but it doesn't change anything as far as the um, expression itself.